What's going on, you all? This is Brother D here coming back at you with another edition of the Brother D Show podcast. Today's date is February the 24th, and I just wanted to jump on here real quick and talk to you from the uh, subject. You're bouncing back again. You are bouncing back again. So what this show um, is pretty much about is where we are uh, covering episode 70 bounce back. But this is a part two of episode 70. So I just wanted to jump on here and let you know that you have the power to bounce back. You're bouncing back from your hardships. You're bouncing back from your trials. You're bouncing back from from your troubles. Everything that's been trying to hold you down or keep you stuck. You have the power in you to bounce back. Power is virtue. Power is, um, as far as inwardly, it's energy. Power, you have the power, you have the capability to bounce back. It's in you. It's already innately present. So what you need to do is actually uh, uh, stir up your faith, utilize your belief, and actually take action to bounce back. Stir up your faith. Yes, your faith in God and faith in yourself as well. Stir up your faith, utilize your belief, and take action. It's very important that we bounce back because certain people feel like um, we need to stay down. Especially if you've gone through a situation where people just don't want you to quote unquote have anything. OK, or people people don't want you to elevate and go much higher than where you currently are right now. You have it in you to bounce back from any form of form of devastation, of loss, any form of abuse, addiction, whatever your vice is, you can bounce back. But you just have to know how to do it. OK. OK. That's what you do. You got the power, but you have to believe that you have it because some people struggle with belief. I'm going to talk about this for a few minutes. They struggle with belief. They struggle with um, them thinking that, that they've been so beat down that they can't bounce back. Some people might feel as though they have too many obstacles stacked up against them. Am I ever going to recover? Am I ever going to get my credit fixed? Am I ever going to purchase that new home? Am I ever going to get married? Am I ever going to have children? Um, And some people might think that because they've gone through so much loss and gone through cycles of hurt and pain. And and you've seen other people, um, you know, you've seen how they've just gone on and, and with their life. And you've even heard people talking about you and whispering and saying certain things about you that were mean and that were hurtful. And even certain things that they did not think that you heard. You heard um, certain things. But regardless of what you've gone through, regardless of all the hell and all the trials that you've been through, it's in you to bounce back. You have to do it. You have to bounce back. You can't stay down. You can't stay in a place of complacency. Because complacency is really an enemy to your progress. Complacency is an enemy to your progress. You cannot become complacent. You cannot get to a place where you're just sitting still. You have to have to take the time to analyze where do you need to go and how can you focus to get there? Some people, it's a matter of actually focusing. Some people, people, uh, excuse me, some people might have the faith, but they just need to focus. So you have to take all these different things into consideration. You're bouncing back from everything that they set up against you, every form of entrapment, everything that they put in your way, but you have to utilize certain things. 
you have to utilize certain key factors in order for you to bounce back successfully. And another way that you bounce back is, is this. You don't give them what they want. So whatever whatever lie was said about you, whatever rumor went out about you, you're not feeding them uh, what they've been feeding other people. OK, that's another way you bounce back, because when people look at your life and say, well, so and so you said this and that about them, but, they, but nothing that you said. Is actually making sense right now. Those people who listen to gossip and different things about you, they realize, oh, wow, he or she really outlived all that mess that was said about them. They bounce back. You still show up to the birthday party. You still go to the, to the cookout. You still went to the Christmas party and you <clears throat> you didn't look like the hell that you was going through. You still showed up. With uh, you know, you, you got your shirt, you got your shoes, you got your hat. You still showed up, and you did not did not allow what they said to put you in the place of feeling feeling as though you're not worthy to even go to a certain event. You stepped in there. I don't care if you only had you had uh, <laughs> fifty dollars in the bank. You stepped in there looking like a million bucks. You bounced back. They dogged you out and you know that they did. But you still walking in there saying, you know what? I'm not even going to allow that to stop me. Let me give, give you another example. They said that you didn't have a job. You wasn't trying to work. You didn't go, go to school. You didn't do this, this and you didn't do that. Now look at you now, you're a business owner. Look at you now, you you got your bachelor's degree, you got your ma your master's degree. You bounce back. You bounce back. It's not that you just outlive uh, a lie alone, but you you come out with something that that they didn't expect you to come out with. You come out with power. You come out saying, you know what? You might have said all these different things about me, but look at me now. They said that you would never have nothing, but yet you own, um, you, you now got, uh, you, you got your own block. You, you bought your first piece of land. You built a business. You built a church. You built a uh, recreational center. You bounce back. You bounce back. Okay. So these are all perfect examples of what a bounce back looks like. 